Hi, I'm Megan. I'm Sierra. And I'm Maggie. And, and we're, we're from, from the Channel 6 too. Welcome to Flipping Friday. Today we're going to be coming back with a tutorial, which we have not done in a long time, and we're going to be showing you guys how to do a back handspring. So let's get started. Before attempting a back handspring, you're going to want to have a back bend kickover or a back walkover. You don't need to have these skills, but we think that it'd be very helpful if you did. Next, you're going to want to stretch because you don't want to get hurt when you're attempting your back handspring. We think that it's best to stretch out your wrists, your ankles, and your back, but feel free to stretch out more if you want to. We think that you should work on a back limber before you attempt your back handspring, so if you can't already do a back limber, here's a brief tutorial. Go into a back bend and try to rock back and forth from your shoulders to your feet until eventually you can get your feet all the way to the other side. Now we're going to talk about how you start your back handspring. So what you want to do is start with your arms up by your ears. Next you're going to swing your arms down and squat at the same time. This is going to help you get your power for your back handspring. Then you're going to swing your arms back and jump. If someone's spotting you, have them put one hand on your back and the other on your thighs. The hand that's holding your back is going to support your back and the other hand is going to throw your legs over. If you'll have access to a trampoline or tumble track, you should also try doing your back handspring on there. For the start of your back handspring, make sure you throw your arms up by your ears instead of waiting and keeping them not by your ears because if you do that, you're going to probably hit your head. When landing your back handspring, make sure you look at the ground so that way you don't fall. Also, make sure you have blocks so your hands don't just stay on the ground. You want to make sure that you push off your shoulders so that your hands are off the ground. And finally, take all the extra power and rebound at the end of your back handspring. Here are a few clips of our back handspring so that you can maybe just get more of a visual representation of what your back handspring should look like. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and thought that it was really helpful and we hope you get your back handspring very soon. Good luck! Since today is Slipping Friday, that means there's a new TC2 Crew Member of the Week. So this week's TC2 Crew Member of the Week is... If you want a chance to be the TC2 Crew Member, all you have to do is hashtag TC2 Crew Member on a picture of you doing cheer gymnastics on Instagram. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye.